Hey everybody, what's going on? Today we are taking a look at Wakanda, a two-player game put out by Blue Orange in which you are building totem poles and controlling them in order to give yourself better scoring opportunities than your opponent. It's a very simple game, it takes a very short amount of time. Let me show you how it works. The game comes with these eight tiles here, which give you a space for the totem poles to build, and then as well as a scoring uh, opportunity there. And each one tells you how it scores. So we have the eagle there, and the teepee, the hatchet, the buffalo, and then this one scores for height, the suns, bears, and this one scores for different colors. And so you're going to take these, you would shuffle them up, and then you would place out six of them. Three in play, and then three out of play and you just do that however you want, like that. And then each player will get either the crests, and they would get three of these, or they would get the wings, after which, if you see these, no one gets the crests, because hello, awesome wings. And so they, each player has their own, and then there is the bag, which has pieces of the totem poles in it. They look like that. On your turn, very simple, you're going to dig, dig in the bag and you're going to grab one piece of the totem poles. It'll have one symbol on it, as you can see there. And then you will either place a totem pole out on any of these three in play, or you would claim one by putting this on it. At this point, of course, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it, I don't know, here. Then it's the other player's turn. They again reach in the bag, they would pull out a piece, and they can place this anywhere they want to. The suns normally are negative one point. That tile and that tile alone makes them positive ones for the person who ends up with that tile because the way the game scores is, let's say this person plays here, and then let's say the other player, blue player here again, will grab this, and they're going to not play it. Instead, they're going to claim a totem. And they would take this, they would put it on the one they want, and they would take this one, and that one is theirs. And so what they've claimed, basically, is two things, really. They've claimed, come on, totem pole, there you go. They've claimed this symbol, this totem pole, and they've claimed a scoring opportunity. I know this is a little hard to see there, but there's a, a hatchet there with a hatchet equals four. And so once that happens, the next one would be in play. It would be the other player's turn. But what this means is they have this symbol, this totem pole, and that scoring opportunity for only this player. And so at the end of the game, for every hatchet I have, I'll have four points. So, other players turn, they would draw, they would place it, let's say, back to blue, draw, place that, it's a bear rug or something. Back to the other player, they're going to draw this, they'll put that one there. Back to blue, they're going to draw this, hello, they're going to play that one there. Back to the red player, they're going to grab this one. But they, the jerk, is going to claim this one. I wanted that! And so they would take this, and that's their totem pole there, as you can see. I'll lay it down so you can see it more easily. And then the next piece would be in play, and so on. This player now will attempt to have this piece end up on something that they themselves would claim, because five points to them. And so that's the game. Basically, each player will claim three out of the six... Um, lands with the totem poles and you will then use this scoring and the to the pieces you got to figure out your own score again don't forget these are normally negative one unless you have the token the the land that makes them plus one and then whoever has the highest score at the end of the game once both players have um, finished drawing everything from the bag and claimed three lands that player will be the winner and that is it so there you have it, Wakanda. As you can see, super straightforward, though really neat. I like the fact that you're not using every card in every game. You only use six out of the eight possible scoring opportunities they give you, though you do go through every piece of totem pole. You'll use them all. You'll empty out the bag. But the timing is really where it's at. I mean, this game is all about timing. That's all there is to it. You draw a piece, and you score or set up your opponent for possibly a better score. Unless they bounce it back to you, at which point, boom, then you can strike, right? So there's that give and take. 
Uh, I think it's a very neat game. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I think it's go, go over well with non-gamers also because it's so simple to explain. It just works easily. It takes 15 minutes. By that same token, the game just doesn't have the legs to be played 50 times, right? It's, it's, a, it's a game which you're going to explore for, I don't know, 10, 15 plays, and then you might not pull out again for a while. But that's okay, because it's a tiny little game for two players. And you can throw it down and get a game done in no time flat. Teach it to just about anybody. The artwork, I think, is great. The turns go by really quick. Neat game. It's, it's for a simple two-player game. This is my style of simple two-player game. The bits, which I don't need to mention, as you can see them in the video, are great. You can, you know, build the tone poles themselves and they just look good on the table. It just works very well. There's no, no snag ups in the rules, nothing like that. They're very well written. So, um, having said all that, this is, again, not an amazing game that will stick around in my collection forever and ever. But it is a good two-player game and I'm happy to have it. I'm happy I got to play it. I recommend you check it out too if you're looking for a simple two-player game. Wakanda. Really neat stuff. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.